questions and your extraordinary and remarkable ideas can't be yours alone. Doris Lessing is revolutionary. She is nonconformist in her writing as in her life. She opposes the individual's freedom to the impasse of the demands of the collective. And indeed, she criticizes this uh, equation. I quote, nearly all the pressures from outside are in terms of group beliefs, group needs, national needs, patriotism, and the demands of local loyalty, such as to your city, local group of all kinds, but more subtle and more demanding, more dangerous, are the pressures from inside which demand th that you should conform. And it is these that are the hardest to watch and uh, control. In mapping ideology, Zizek asserts Ideology represents the imaginary relationship of individuals to their real conditions of existence, uh, and he calls ideology illusion or illusion. In the same context, Lessing blames all kinds of institutions and accuses them of brainwashing. In a small personal voice, she criticizes the other thing taught from the start is to distrust one's own judgment. Uh, children are taught submission to authority how to search for others' opinions and decisions, and how to quote and comply, end of quote. 